everybody it's Tamika and I am back with the loaded envelope mini series so the first video is the construction of the loaded envelope and it tells you about the die a day giveaway so every video that I upload for this series will be a die given away so it's open US and international so I will put the link to that video in the description box thank you guys so much for commenting thus far liking the videos I'm glad you guys will be playing along so super excited so today we're going to work on my favorite embellishment of all time and that is heart clothespins and I do have a tutorial on that but I figured since I'm doing the series I might as well do everything start to finish so we will be uh, doing it again so if you've seen it unfortunately you can move on or you can just come and stay and chat with us. So um, here are some of the items that I'm going to be using uh, or maybe maybe not but I have some flowers of course they're a mixed bunch from Wild Oaker Crafts uh, white open roses in different sizes and then I really like these um, tiny little paper studio flowers poppies and papery or pa yeah papery they're really really cute really tiny pink and yellow glittery flowers maybe use those it's not a lot of space on this heart so uh, I'm wishing I have some say it in uh, say it with bling pearls something for maybe the decoration I pulled out these depends on what it looks like when we get there I have these celebrated bags they are pretzel bags and they come from Michaels you get 20 of them these are good for your Hershey nuggets if you're doing craft fairs as well and um, so we're, I think the uh, clothespins will fit in here. If not, we'll use something else. These are the wooden clothespins that I'm using. I believe they're from Createology from Michaels. And then I'm going to use some sprays. Uh, Prima Color Bloom in uh, Soft Teal uh, Dilutions Spray in uh, Black Marble. And then I have like a little homemade water and gesso mix because the flowers are off white I want them to be a, as crispy of a white as possible I'm going to use some spray adhesive and um, some chalkboard paint this came from uh, Tuesday morning any black ink any black paint will do I need a paintbrush I have a little bit of lace and then of course I have the bead landing word beads you get these from Michaels I have some glitter this is from recollections and it's a uh, multicolor I really want some black glitter uh, I don't have any but I think this um, granite will do I think that's the color um, I think I'm gonna use granite yeah something charcoal something like that um, I have a circle punch which I'm thinking I'm gonna use for decoration maybe a butterfly punch this is Martha Stewart and um, my die cut my heart die cuts I used my silhouette cameo to punch or to cut these little hearts out I made them a little bit smaller than two inches and then I cut out the passport paper in the ice cream I just wanted to have a teal colored background and then I have these little they really go with the bling section but I don't know which one I'll be using and last but not least this mini heart die this came as a hostess gift I believe from Ida Martinez and this is what it looks like it is super cute and it works perfectly on that bag so we're gonna try that out today and I know I'll need to find some washi tape so in the mist here I'll pull out some washi tape to be able to close this bag up all right so I'm gonna move this stuff out the way and we are going to start on our hearts okay so I do want to mention that you will obviously need your hot glue gun or and your wet glue and your heating tool to be able to dry the clothespins so I'm just using a scratch sheet of paper I accidentally bought this paper pad which I hate it I don't even know how it even got in my cart I'm gonna show you I don't know how it got in my cart I think Kyla might have put in there I don't know this recollections country farmhouse paper pad and why would I buy this like the chicken coop the farm like I there's pigs and just I don't know I don't know why this was in my cart and how I got home but we're gonna use it as scratch paper <laughs> that's what we're gonna do with it and then it's good to um, when I'm making uh, samples like templates you know when I'm making 
sketching out projects I just use this paper to mock up my my template so I guess it's a win-win so we're gonna do three clothes pins um, these are the little fat chunky ones I really like these and we're gonna paint them black using this chalkboard paint and this paint was $2.99 I got it like I said it's Tuesday morning Oh, that's right. I clogged it up. and I have to pour it out. All right. Just a little bit on the side here. And I was going to make these white. Um, but I thought, no, let's just add some. Since the loaded envelope is like classy and sleek and chic, I want to make all of these um, dark. I'm going to make them black. So I'm just going to paint my clothespin. Even the the cracks and the crevices I'm gonna paint the top and then I'm gonna oh, everything but the bottom of course and then I'm gonna set it down and move on to the next one and this is such a calming craft like seriously if I knew how to paint I'm sure I would just dive myself into into painting because it's it's not it's mindless for me because I'm not a painter so it's not any thinking or trying to figure out proportions and anything like that it's just me painting something so um so it's calming to me yep my nails are going to be nasty today all right so yeah i'm going to paint all of that this is a this is my favorite embellishment to make i know um I say I like a lot I like a lot of the stuff that I make I do but this one's my favorite and um, what was I gonna say I don't know this one's my favorite to make but it's so easy so easy to do and very inexpensive you can even use if you don't want to get these with a coupon at Michaels you can even use the longer um, clothespins from the Dollar Tree you get a thousand no, I think you get 36 or something like that for a dollar. You can even use that and alter those. And I've done a tutorial on those as well. And they come out really, really nice too. But I really like these little chunky ones. They're super cute. So all those are painted. And then I'm going to come back and do the, this is kind of dry. I'm going to do the underside of this one. Make sure you get the uh, the ends. Oh, that wasn't smart. I tried to stand it up, that didn't work. All right, let's come back this way. So, you know how fast this goes. I mean, you can even spray paint this too. I mean, if you're in a pinch, you can spray paint that. If you don't have time or you like it better, a better coating when you spray paint a nice even coating, but. I personally like the painting and the texture of it. So, so there we go. So I am going to just like dab those with my heat tool. All right, and here's where you can see if you want to add another coat or whatnot to whatever <clears throat> to it. So the the nice side if you have a nice and a bad side like sometimes the wood is kind of shady that's the side of the bad side is what I'll put the heart on so what I am going to do though is go ahead and get the inside of these clothes pins so that they all be uniform and coat it with the black paint and then I'm going to I'll give that another coat hit it with the heat tool again and we should be done painting all right okay so we're done with the clothes pins they're all nice and black along with my tips of my fingers so um what i'm going to do uh uh, uh oh geez what i want to do now is fine the rough sides of the paper clips clothes pins 
I'm meaning clothespins. Every time I say paper clips, I'm meaning clothespins. All right. It was only this one that was a little shady. <clears throat> so I'm going to add, we're going to add the glitter now. And I'm going to be using this one, which is charcoal. Or maybe it's nice. Twilight. That's what it is. It's twilight. Which is a shimmer, shimmery black. It's really nice. So I'm just going to turn that. I'm going to spray my spray adhesive. Let that get to know each other really quick. And then put my glitter down. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. That is lovely. I'm just going to tap it in there. That is so cute. I love it. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. Sprinkle it on top. Okay. And then I'm just going to pat this in there. And then pat this one in there. How cute is that? Super, super cute. Okay, I'm going to clean this up and we're going to start with the hearts. All right, now we're at the funnest part, which is adding glue to these tiny little hearts, right? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put them in piles of five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then um, we have a topper here, which is that same ice cream paper. So I'm going to use my wet glue, art glitter glue. I did these before um, in spray paint, not spray paint. I did these in, what am I trying to say here? Um, spray adhesive and they don't stick. They will stick, you know, for the most part, but they'll start to peel up real quick. And I just don't, I don't like that. So I'm going to take my time and use the wet glue. You know, what also works is that, and I should have grabbed it, but no, it'll get kind of messy. That Martha Stewart um, glue stick that was on sale at Hobby Lobby for the 99 cents. I mean, it was at three, four. That works good. It works really well. It sticks really well. It's just that um, I tend to get messy with that and it get and it'll get everywhere. At least with this glue, I have a little bit more control. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll put one at the top. See? See how fast this is going? really easy embellishments whether you're or not you use the clothespin or not these are super cute you can make these whatever size you want if you have a cutting machine you can hand cut stencil draw them you could do a lot of things with the sizes okay so that's one i think i miscounted one two three five yeah all right and so we're going to do just make sure that stays okay i'm going to do these I really should go take a moment and wash these fingertips so my projects won't get messy. I probably will go do that after this one, of course, because I can get messy and not even really not even mind it unless it starts to transfer on other stuff. And then I'm like, gosh, darn it, get up, go all the way downstairs. Wash my hands. Anyway, moving along. I'm trying to think of other um, embellishments. I mean, if I get started, I can think of so many embellishments to load this envelope. This would be like a chunky loaded envelope. And I've done, let's see, I've done two loaded envelopes so far. And I love the, doing them. When I do do them, I love it. It's so fun to think of 
just different things to put in there to make it different from anything that you've done before. All right, I'll be right back. All right, much better. I paint dried rather quickly. I had to use like a scrubber to get it off my nails. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm so messy. Okay, we're almost done here. Just make sure you're getting these edges of the heart so that they line up properly and stay there. All right, number four. one for this cardstock I'm using 110 pound weight cardstock in white and then of course the top layer is the cards or the paper from the paper studio I don't know what pound it is it feels like 20 but it's pretty though but you're definitely gonna have to back that up on something <laughs> no pun intended in order for it to be sturdy all right so we have our hearts completed nice and thick that was fast see okay so the next thing we're going to do is pull out some of the little embellishments that i had let's um, try the black one first and then we're using this dilution ink I wish I had something, a box, spray this in, but we're going to go with this. Okay, I'm going to hit this with the heat tool, super cute, and then we're going to do this one, see if this mix will work. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to go in there. Okay. I'm going to dry this. I think I can do, I'm going to do a pink one. I think that would be cute too. Let me go grab a pink spray. Okay, I have this um, Color Bloom in Cotton Candy. Let's see. Let's flip that over. Let's spray this one. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna heat that up really cute so that's gonna go with this little white one and then we'll do this last one in the soft teal and then the last little one here all right so get these items out the way now we can bring out our hearts okay and then we have the lace it's smooth sailing from here guys well it was smooth sailing anyway this is super easy okay so just pull out some lace I have some heart lace here that's really pretty I also have this lace which we could use as well. Just trying to see which one looks the best. And all I do is just have it go like at an angle right across the heart. And that's really cute. I love a fluffy lace. We'll try one with this. So what I'm gonna do is add some hot glue, just a little strip. across the heart and then add the lace let's grab my scissors and I'm going to cut off the excess here all around the 
the heart. So that's what we have. Let me see. Okay, it is a huge glare because I'm using this other shiny matte. Okay, so I'm just going to clip off the stem and start layering these flowers. How cute is that? So the first thing I'm going to do is add this bead because that is the biggest and bulkiest thing and we want to just work around it. I'm just adding some hot glue to the back and I'm going to push it over as far as I can to the edge just like so and then put the put the flower up there I'm just going to add some hot glue put that right up there at the top look how cute that is and then this tiny little one here yeah I'm not thinking that I'm going to be able to add this one that doesn't match anyway the little flower the little these that'll have to come on something else at another time I'm adding hot glue to the teeny tiny flower and putting that right there. How stinking cute is that? Really cute. And then I'm going to add some uh, crystal stickles to it. I didn't mention that before because I just grabbed them when I went to go get this uh, that other paint. I'm like, oh yeah, I need my stickles. And I got a, cute, a couple of these when I went to the expo. I don't use them a lot. I don't use a lot when I use them, but I get like um, four, four or five bottles, and I just use it sparingly. And they last. All right. There we go. Isn't that cute? But not the cutest thing. So we're going to pull out a clothespin. Now you can either, you can put it on the shimmery side and you can have your pins bling the heck out. Or you can put it on the matte side like that. So totally up to you. I'm going to bling mines out with that. Look how cute it is. So cute. So all I'm going to do is you can also add like um, pearls or bling or whatever you want to. But this is blinged enough for me. So I'm going to add that to that. Done. So cute. It is so cute and sweet and elegant. I love it. Get these extra little glue strings. Really pretty. So that's one. That's it. I mean, just basically repeating after this. Or you can even alternate. So, like, you can put one matte and two bling and or opposite. Or not even add the bling at all. Add another color. Totally up to you. I'm blinging this one out. And then, so for the second one, I'm going to use this trim. So, I'm just going to add some hot glue to this at an angle like I did the previous one. And add the trim. I'm gonna cut off this little tip up here. Okay, I'm gonna add my bead. This one says dream. Well, let's kiss on one side, dream on the other. We'll use the dream. Put that right there, like so. And then this one we're gonna go with the turquoise one. Oh, that's so cute. And then the white down here. So pretty. Okay. That's going to go there. And then this white one. Cut off my little stem. Add my glue to this teeny tiny little flower place that right there pack that underneath 
I'm going to add hot glue to the back, down the center like I did before. And add it on top here. And then I'm going to add my stickles. Really, really cute. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Matches perfectly with the whole vibe of the paper, the bling, the diamonds, the extravagance, the elite, all the above. How cute. Okay. And last one. This is that one and I really like how that how this lace looks so I'm gonna cut a little bit more and do this one for the last one because it's on a like a, attached to another piece of trim but I only want the circles so I'm gonna take that other part off I'll cut it down just added my hot glue over here and then the last bead I have is live the other side is feel so yeah we're gonna use live <laughs> I just had to use shorter beads that's all so otherwise I would have had some of the other ones on there some of the longer ones I really like that bead set from Michaels one of my favorite things that I keep on hand as far as beads and jewelry oh that's so precious this black is so rich it's really vibrant that goes there all right let's go over here a little spud this is the last little one here the last flower cute okay add some glue to the back pack that on there and then grab my stickles oh yeah that's that pops really nice and it matches the background off of this clothespin. Okay. So here are the three clothespins. They are so, 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 so cute. All right, let's, um, what I'm gonna do is package them up we're gonna get some uh some chipboard just use a scratch piece of chipboard lightweight cereal weight chipboard and then we're gonna cut we're gonna cut it down to let's see this bag is two and a quarter so we're gonna cut it down to two Two by, um, see the envelope is eight. So let's see. Or maybe cut it down to two by eight and let's see. Because I want them to, I want it to stick out the top a little bit. So I'm going to, it's two by eight. And then I'm going to get my circle punch. And I'm going to kind of use the corner here to like make a little design not design but um impression or not take it out take out the corner so to be a ticket jeez and this is hard to see how that looks the bottom 
so I'm not measuring I'm just kind of just sticking it in there and punching this is pretty I need to sharpen my things I guess so that's how that looks so we're gonna get the wet glue put this on here here okay and I'm gonna cut off the extra in the square like the square part because I'm going to use the um, circle punch so I can get an accurate um, punch to what's already there so I'm just cutting off like the square, the rectangle, rather. Okay. Now I'm going to take the circle punch again. Just follow that line. Measure it up. And punch it through. You can also just take your scissors and do it. I think that might be a little bit easier anyway. my punch is having technical difficulties it needs to be I need to get some uh, aluminum foil and punch it a couple of times so that I can sharpen that punch and if that doesn't work then we just gonna have to get another one okay so that's that let's make sure it fits into this bag I know it's gonna be a tight squeeze after we add those um, embellishments but I hope it's not too tight I am going to add paper to the back I should do that but I need to make sure that this can fit on here or I want to make sure this can fit on there the stickles are dry yet pretty close let's see if this will work this may not even work no the pretzel bag is too um, Thin. So, never fear. We are going to add the paper to the back, though. We're going to do that definitely. And let's get this part taken care of. And we'll just put it in another bag. All right, so from here, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue, just like a dot. I don't have any repositionable dots. I'm just going to add a, the tiniest of the, like barely letting the glue gun scrape the bottom of the clothespin so that it can stay. The tiniest little dot. And I probably should invest in repositionable dots or, or I could use ATG uh, tape too. I hope they don't fall. So that's how that looks. It's so pretty. <laughs> yes. All right. So now we have the task of seeing if we can find some paper, I mean, some plastic to cover this up. All right. Just using these plastic um, bags. I, get, I got them from Tuesday morning. So when you see them at Tuesday morning, grab them because they are a commodity all right so I am going to I have the open side the, the adhesive side what do you call it, the resealable side at the bottom and I'm putting that down there and I'm going to adhere it get a size here I'm going to cut it down Here at first. I'm going to hear it to where it barely touches the opposite side because I need a little bit of room at the top for the topper. So that's going to go there. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut it down in half. 
we can probably use that other half for something else. So that's going to go like that. And then I'm going to seal it with some washi. So that's just going to fold over like so. And then I have some washi here. All right. So there's that. How cute is that? Shut the front door. Okay. So we're almost done. So I already cut out that die. Where's that? This one here. And I used black um, cardstock. So all we have left is to add that. I'm not sure. Let's see. Fold it over. I'm just going to add it. Oops. Fly away. I'm going to add it to the top up here. All that is darling. It's going to add that to the top. Or maybe we should add a. Let me see how it looks if we add a white piece of paper and then add that. So I'm going to. Let's see. That looks better. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. If I added the bow, this is a die cut from my creative time that I had actually just sitting here because I was making um, bonbon boxes for a craft fair. And I had Kyla cut out a bunch of these little bows for me. Um, so I had some left over. As I told her, I asked her to cut out 50, 30 or 50. I can't remember. It's been a while. And she cut out a whole lot more. She just said she liked doing it. So let's see. I can go there. So we want this simple elegance. So we want these things to pop. So I guess that would work. We can put that there. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to add some hot glue to the back. And add it to the center of this bow. How elegant is that? And then add, I'm going to use some glue, wet glue. Nope, I'm going to use spray. Spray glue for this. Over my trash can. Not everything in there is going to be sticky. Uh, and then I'm going to add that to the top. Like so. And then I'm going to add... Um, let's see, add, no, 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 I'm going to add wet, a uh, hot glue to the bottom of these strips, white pieces, and then layer that inside like so. And then add the bow. Let's just see how this, um ribbon would look it's adhesive ribbon I got this from Michaels so let's see I would just cut this in half and then I would tear that off exit like that on top of each other And then tear this one off. And let's see how this would look. Yeah, that's cute. So I'm going to add some glue to the back of this bow to be able to add this there. I went up too far, so I'm just going to cut off this extra. Oh gosh, I keep picking up those wax scissors. Okay. And as for the tape on the back, let me see if these strips would work. Because I really don't want it to stick to the package. Oh, a, how perfect is that? Perfect fit! And then 
that's just cardstock that I'm using to um, adhere to the sticky ribbon so that it won't be sticky. I'm just going to clean up the edges a tidge. And this one. And then I'm going to do, try to do fishtail. Let's see. Yeah. Love it. Center that. And we're done. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Grab my envelope. It is so pretty. And that's going to go. That's why we made those gussets. It's going to stick right out the top. We can even put it in the middle. No, I have plants or something else to go in the middle. That's going to overshadow. Maybe. We'll see. But we want it just enough to this to stick out the top to know that there's some fun stuff back there. We can even put it here. No, we can't. We're going to put it right there. That's going to go in that pocket. All right, guys, that is today's project. So um, I hope you like it. That's the back. Super cute, easy, fun, quick, fast, all that stuff. Well, quick and fast, same thing. But um, be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions about anything. Um, and then make sure you leave a comment and like the video to be eligible to be entered into that drawing at the end of the series for the die. And again, it's open internationally and us so i will see you guys at the next video thank you for crafting and chatting with me bye